I am here today to tell you all about the things that I have made in February. This is my February makes video and I have a couple of things on my dress forms here and also you should know that um, several if not all of these will have their own videos as well. Um, the kind where like I do the voiceover and model them for you. So you'll be seeing them again, but I did want to tell you about them since you all enjoy these videos so much seeing what I've made. Um, so the first one that we have here is McCall's 6955. So kind of an older pattern from them, maybe two seasons ago. Um, this is a Laura Ashley pattern. Very simple fit and flare dress. Um, it has just the um, bottom darts on the bust. It has a big pleated skirt, huge pleated skirt, and um, the option of doing a band. And so this fabric is a Maggie London fabric that I got from Fabric Mart. Um, I think they had it on clearance sometime last fall. Um, and I just love the color of it. It's a cotton sateen, so perfect for spring. And the color is just super, super vibrant and just screams like summertime. Um, the thing I love most about the pattern probably is the back. So the back is actually a racer back which I think is really cute and sporty and kind of a nice contrast to the really super girly, frilly um, fabric and skirt. And I took a lot of time when I was um, uh, placing out the pattern pieces on this, um, which I'll tell you more about in the model video. But basically, I did do the band, but I did the band kind of um, the, the stripes of the skirt go one way and the stripes of the band go another way, which is sort of hard to do on a big gigantic circle skirt like this one. Um, but I powered through and I did it and I really love how it turned out and it comes with this great little belt you can tie into a huge bow and yeah, I just love it. Um, this one behind her, this is the art gallery project that we've been talking about for months, I feel like. Um, this is the art gallery voil, and I did decide to make, what is it, M7358. Um, so this is it. It is a wrap top. Um, comes also with a belt to keep the wrap in place. This, um, the under wrap does work like a robe in that you can tie it off underneath where it's concealed and you can't see and then this side wraps over it. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, there's nothing really special about the back, just has pleats in the back, little pleats here. Um, I am not in love with this one. I'll go ahead and tell you that. It's really pretty, but the pattern is super, super fussy. Um, maybe it's just the wrap. Maybe wraps don't work for me. Maybe I'm just too like animated for wraps. I don't know. I have to wear something underneath it. I can't wear it like this or like the model on the pattern cover. Um, so yeah, still on the fence. I haven't worn it for a full day yet. So maybe I'll change my mind by the time I, um, film the voiceover for the model video, but I did want to show it to you. It is cute and sweet. Um, the next one is actually what I'm wearing. This is the Sonio cardigan. You've already seen this video go out, but technically I made it in February, so it goes in the February makes video. Um, if you want to see that video, I will post a link for it in the description box below. But you can also search the Sew My Style hashtag on Instagram and see everybody else's makes. That's the coolest part about Sew My Style is that you can see what everybody else has made of the same pattern, which is super cool. Um, another pattern that is not or another project that isn't complete only simply because I cannot for the life of me get it to fit. So this is Butterick 6351. Super super cute. The back has this like crossover um, detail where the lower back is left like exposed but those flaps I cannot get to lay flat on my back and the fabric that I'm using can't stand up to so much ripping and replacing so I might just recut the entire bodice I'm not sure it is super cute from the front when I put it on from the front it's adorable it's from the um, embroidered um, border 
print that I told you guys about in the border prints video. Um, and like I said, it's adorable. I love, love, love the front of it, which will kind of just mock it up here. Can y'all, how much of that? Oh, you can't really see the knit at all or the embroidery at all. But the, um, but the front looks great and I just cannot get those flaps to lay straight. So I either need to get help from someone else where I can put it on and they can pin it exactly where it needs to go or I'm just gonna recut the back into a regular bodice with no flaps, no exposed back, no anything. It's just gonna be your regular standard kind of gathered dress. But um, here's the bottom so you can see sort of how it is looking with the embroidery. Super, super cute, right? Like I really, really, really love it. I just cannot for the life of me get the back to fit. So this is like a work in progress for February, but um, I really want to wear it and I'm so close to the end. I just have to get it to fit um, and not tear up any more of the, um, any more of the fabric trying to get these flaps to lay straight to lay flat. It wants to like gape out like this. You know, it wants to flap, flap out like, like that, which is just not cute. So I need somebody to help me get it to lay flat. So I don't know if these were just cut funny or if I cut the wrong size, I'm not exactly sure. But so we're working on that one. We're working on that one. I hope I get it to work because this um, embroidered knit is so, so, so pretty. It will work. Like I said, push comes to shove. I'll just rip out these shoulder seams and I'll put on a whole new, I'll put on a plain back bodice and we will rock and roll with it that way. It'll be fine. I was just trying to do something a little bit different. But anyway, so there you have it. Those are the projects that I made in February, a shorter month with only 28 days. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with myself for projects in 28 days. That's pretty good. But if you've seen my plans video, then you know I got a lot of work to do in March too. So anyways, I want to know what you are making or what you made in February. If you have vlog, if you have a vlog, if you have a Facebook picture or an Instagram picture, leave those links in the comments below or tell me how I can find them so I can see what you all have made in February too. And yeah, that'll do it for this one. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.